What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Toad of War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Mysore. And in this episode we're engaging uh, a Prussian fleet on the high seas between Greece and Crete, I believe. You've got a few ships that are worth taking, but most of their fleet is actually chaff bits and pieces. So let's go ahead and engage. So as is, as is typical, we will be looking to capture uh, third rates and above. Um, and then use the rest, any others we capture, to uh, finance the repair of our fleet. So, let's take our first, let's get them up front. Admiral at the back of the first rates. Second's behind them. Third's behind them. So the weather gauge looks okay. Let's try and do something like this. So we still get some of the weather gauge bonuses. Trying to push towards them a little bit. So we have reinforcements. <clears throat> Oops, sorry, everyone. In the shape of a Rose. Oh no, a Jebek, sorry. From a raiding fleet. But no, they can go away. They want to close the distance, then begin the turn. So the AI, as is tradition, has a heavy line and a light line. Well, I mean, light. War Galleon, Heavy Frigate, Fifth, Rose, Fifth. Bomb catch brig. Then the other line, heavy first, third, second, 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 third. So there should be a bit of a gap forming. Well, no, there won't be a gap forming here because the third rate will never get up to top speed because of the heavy first. So the second rate will always catch up, will always keep up because the first rate will keep the third rate slow. But yeah, we're going to close the distance. Try and chop through the formation like this because we mainly want to get focus on getting ahead of the heavy first and begin knocking out some masts. So getting some stern shots fired against us from some of these smaller ships is okay. It's going to be tricky to break the line because cutting, bring, trying to chop formations in half like this can be difficult because once the first guy fails to do it everything else gets bogged down but there we go so now our port guns are going to be engaging without needing to empty our starboard guns whose first target it looks like will be the oh the uh the war gun is on fire so again our first rate's taking a bit of a hammering but as they get within range they be firing chain And trying their best to try and thread this formation, which may not be possible. Let's play let's increase time a little bit. Lots of fire against these enemy ships. The war galleon is very much on fire. No idea why those are turned off. I never why would you ever turn those off? So you may not make it ahead of the fifth rate but you will, may make it ahead of the brig. The main thing is we cut ahead of the the fifth heavy, the heavy first rate. That's what I want to be. I'll probably bump up against Friesland. There we go. Starboard, uh, port guns are firing. Starboard guns are engaging. But they've hit the brig. I think this is the moment where I end up just uh, fleet wide stuff. Kind of works, but a lot of it. It's like, no, now just get in and I'll control you on a ship to ship basis. To get these ships in. You're going to need to hammer every first. I mean, they're a bit vulnerable because they've got ships coming around from the... down here. So let's send some ships this way at full sail. Let's start to uh, 
slow down the heavy first because they put out a lot of damage. So these guys are effectively going to be going to be firing broadsides from their starboard batteries. So we need that those masts to go down while everyone else sails in. You guys have to try and sail in to cover these ships as they head off this threat. We're going to be firing as many broadsides as you can. Okay, let's cut you a bit, make you go a bit wider so you can actually get full sail. firing whatever guns that are ready whatever masts that we whatever whatever guns we can open up with we need to open up with so if we can knock out the first straight that bogs them down it's not so bad My third rates need to be at full sail at the rear of the formation. You're generally going to be okay against those enemy ships. Come on, let's get a mass down. Four mass down. So you're going to keep pumping round shots into a body. Friesland's routing. Let's bring these ships around slightly. You pivot, start engaging Venezia. Venezia, Venezia. You advance. You're actually going to try and try and get back and around. Don't sail into a line of fire. Third rate ship of the line is beginning to pivot out. Bad luck. There goes Fuchs first. Uh, rear mast. Fire a long range broadside at Coronel. You're going to stay where you are and just pump round shot into the heavy first. Okay, right. This is going to be tricky. That's a rear mast of the third rate down. Yeah, that ship sailed into the it sailed into the uh, field of fire of the first rate, which is a bad idea. So you chaps need to sail down south. Hunker down. You're going to fire a round shot and begin just to bump it into third rate. You guys need to get over here at speed. Same with you guys. You're going to have to fire chain into the first rate. Let's try cleaning the masts off of some of these ships. You'll have to sail ahead. Uh, 
another mass down. But you try and turn and get some blocking done. Okay, let's see if you can engage. Okay, it's turned fire. Well, off now you've fired. Then sail on ahead. Actually, you can stay where you are. Fire round shot. Continue doing what you're doing. Keep pumping. Oh, actually, it looks like the heavy frigate's going to try and get in and uh, bodyguard. Just keep pumping. You guys get ahead, cut them off with chain. Chain and round shot, depending on what's appropriate. We've shot a few of the masts away here, and that's quite nice. It always feels like knocking out a mast is one of the quicker ways to cause upset. You're in a slug match with a heavy first rate ship of the line, so that's not going to go well. Got to keep firing guns as fast as you can get them loaded. Try to see if you can scoot around that ship there. Okay, you can fire it all on again. Excellent broadsides in both directions. You begin to fire round shot. You're going to blast Hormer and with a mast full of chain. I think that's knocked a mast down. Okay, pivot. Okay, form a new line. We're starting to get congested. You try and work your way around to the north. Oh, you're going to have a terrible time. shot at by Dorsch and you're going to be hit by the heavy first so just try to get out of there I might just fire the broadside now because I could well lose it at least I'll hit two ships you keep opening up so these two ships both try and make the their way along to the north. So if you can get behind that fourth ray, then at least that'll be at least the heavy first, that'll be something. Actually stay firing round shot, then you can at least keep opening up from range. You get ahead of Coronel. Fire! You start hitting Cormoran. You're going to try and sail ahead of Cormoran. We would start knocking out ships now. Some of these heavier ships. We're doing we're doing good in terms of slowing them up, but we need to actually deliver some killing blows now. There we go. Third rate ship of the line should help there. Fire a round shot now for you, because Thetis has lost all his masts. You blast them, get ready to follow up. You sail right through the middle of them, blasting everyone with chain. You try to get ahead of the threat here. You pivot ever so slightly to miss third rate ship of the line. 
fire chain shot. That was a bit of a mistake. He was supposed to go for Coronel, I suppose. Okay, good. Ships have been... Okay, all of these ships have all fallen. Good. So you guys try to get up around behind this formation. You're, everyone's trying to pivot. All those ships are routed. You, you're still sticking around. Let's not worry about Memel for now. The main thing now is to get into a position where you can keep engaging. Shot anchor, you're going to be in a bit of trouble. Fire chain, knock out that last mast. Masts down across the board. Excellent. Heavy frigates trying to sneak their way in. Make sure all you guys are firing. Round shot. Coronel has surrendered. Then again. Right, let's get ready to pound the bejesus out of Dorsch. You're going to stay anchored there. Oh, the third ship of the line there is looking very poorly. Is the heavy? Is the fifth just booking it? No, they are turning. They're not withdrawing. That's not there. I mean, if I stop fire, it will. Will you repair the damage, or are you just done for? Keep engaging. Load broadside right. Oh, first rate's going to go up. Is I'm probably going to lose my second rate. Set anyone else on fire though, that's the question. You drop anchor there. Reload. Yes, you should be shaken. No, no. Oh, give the wrong orders there. Yeah, keep engaging. You guys effectively both go after Memel. I think we've got enough here to deal with these fellows chaser guns are opening up against this third rate if you try getting to that gap you might be able to fire through into Dorsch so you you sail that way with chain, try and knock some more mass down that heavy frigate. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Sail at full speed. Benegam is trying to work their way through. Dorsh is routing and now surrendered. Let's knock out our last mast. You drop anchor, cease firing broadsides. Uh, knocked a mast off a heavy 
Heavy frigate. Let's slow it down. See, your main mast is flying, and I bet you're feeling pretty chipper about that. Is your admiral up here? Nope. You should be you should feel okay firing chain. Got one hit towards the centre, but that's about it. Let's knock out our last mast. In which case you can keep firing round shot. If you're gonna fire over them, just try hit masts. Excellent. Heavy frigate surrendered. Everyone else go after that fifth rate. Memel. Open fire. It's a very resilient mast you've got there. But it will. I'm gonna, I am definitely going to shoot it away. I'm not going to have that. You're going to engage the heavy first from the rear. Yes, the fifth is re-engaging. Full speed with chain shot. And your your rear <laughs> mizzen's shot away. But there's the drummer. Sora, that's my admiral's flagship. I want to see that mighty Prussian standard fall. And it will fall, damn it. Oh, they killed the guy up here. Well, that's wreckage, not men in the water. Poor brig, which wants no part of it. There. They've made it. Yes, there she goes. Everyone engage. Excellent, excellent, excellent. You sail around to the stern. This, you cheeky fifth rate. I think Fuchs is gone. Fuchs has surrendered. So it's not everyone after Memel. Probably Border. Use your chaser guns. Keep knocking holes in her sails. <laughs> she will escape, but she she will continue to escape unless we do something about this. But eventually she's deciding that she wants to turn and fight. She's engaging us, but it's how all No. I suppose I can't. I, wanted, I was wondering if I could get this Jebek over to scoot over here real quick because they're fast. See the turning. I don't want to really. I don't really want to board her, but the guidance for boarding seems to be a lot more resilient. At least with boarding, they will follow and they'll keep firing their chaser guns into her mast. But I am going to chop the recording there and bring you guys back when something happens. So see you in a So we managed to pursue her enough to shoot off both her mast. It's described as a Pyrrhic victory, but actually that's... I mean, granted we took a lot of damage, but we've captured a lot of ships and we can more easily reconstitute our fleet. We lost three ships, so... This will mark a significant expansion of our forces. 
So we want we don't want the frigate, we don't want the galleon, we want the first rate, we want third, second, 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 third, don't want the fifth, rose, or brig. Six thousand prize money. So let's sail you okay, ooh, where's the best place to put you is Limassol. Look, I don't know why this has happened. There we go. So you men rebuild or repair. These ships can go into Antalya and repair as well. Bolster that force. But there we go. That's the most, the bulk of the... Actually, you can, you can probably stand to command that force. Excellent. So goes your recruitment. It, go, it continues. Good stuff. So, elsewhere. Where's my agent? Let's get my agent into Berlin. Yeah, there's a lot of infantry up here. What about you? Uh, let's go get you up to Copenhagen. See if we can get you t into Copenhagen. See what the navy's like. Ooh, hello. There is a fleet, a depleted fleet, but a fleet nonetheless with an entire army embarked on it, including Prussian giants. I've never even seen them. General Field Marshal of the Army. 24 pounder heavy horse artillery. I mean, I definitely want to kill that fleet. First of all, I want to get you up here to block off the Baltic to prevent that from going anywhere. I want to see what else they've got going on here. So the infantry or the, the Prussian army is is now I about to say exposing itself. Not quite exposing itself, showing itself. Make sure you chaps are replenishing. Good. The actual conquest of of the Dutch in uh, Italy. Looks like it's actually going okay. There's a whole bunch of Prussian fleets up here. Which, to be honest, I may send... No, actually, it would be... It would be better with you. Although you... Yeah, you can bottle out that fleet. You men just auto-resolve this combined fleet action. Yeah, we lost ships, but that's okay. Then we will pursue again. Excellent. So that's sign. Oh, no, the one of them got away. Come here, you. Balthazar Guggenmos. Nice. Send this fleet put in for repairs. And then here, with my Jebex. Let us raid these Prussian... Oh, I didn't mean to... Hey, when it does that, it brings all of them. It's like, no, I don't want all of them. Bring the fifth rate back to Syracuse. Let's recruit a couple more Jebex. So we managed to tear down the building here at this dry dock. We can't stop this one, but we, well, we can. We can land, land troops, defeat the land army, and attack the port. Which is probably what I will end up doing here at some point. Or land, destroy the fleet. I actually got a two star overall. Land, destroy, uh, push them out of their city and lose the fleet. So they lose the fleet. But the. Yeah, there's a lot of Prussians here. So. I think the name of the game is to keep. Keep the building up of more forces. So what do you need? You need. Kizobashi, I expect. Three Kizobashi plus one more unit of melee infantry like Hindu infantry. Hindu warriors, there we go. And then, actually, I may as well recruit a general from this army. Start all over again. OK, 
cavalry, 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 then get to Islamic swords. So you have okay, you're going south. You need let's get another unit of desert warriors, then you need cavalry. This makes a heavy cavalry army. With some lancers. I can recruit four more units, and it's gonna be one, two, three, four. Good stuff. I don't think there's anything I've, well, there's nothing I can do in the trade zones because we figure that all out. The Americas is quite stable. You're probably going to go here, get a general, and then start to call up reinforcements. We're going to build a madrasa here plus a craft workshop plus probably build a, build a madrasa here, craft workshop. Okay, let's build another madrasa so I can send someone to convert. Oh, especially industrialization is getting bad. We're slowly converting New Andalusia. Can you men strictly see? Okay, you guys can go pacify Bogota. Other than that, things are okay. Got a yeah, floating army ready to do something. But I think we have to keep focusing on keep focusing on the Prussians because I want to own the Baltic and constrain all of their trade operations and hopefully they might start to run out of well, their uh, their internal politics will start to cause issues but I don't mm. it can happen we've seen it with the Dutch it is possible to have a the AI just be completely unable to continue funding their armies. But again, we're we're kind of at that level too. I think actually this turn will be the first turn in a long time I've actually got a huge chunk of change left over. Oh, the Dutch are going to go try to steal some technologies, I suspect, to try and buy their freedom, either from me or from somewhere on, someone else. Now, here's the thing. What does Prussia do? I want to see them pulling out of Greece. Yes, that's more like it. That's very much, that's very much more like it. Yeah, ooh. So the moving out is now the time to attack, or do we wait another turn to see if it's a general... If it's a more uh, general shift, do we give them a few turns to get into the middle of the Prussian Empire? Then we attack when they're as far away as they can possibly be. Because this fleet's bottling up a reasonable little Prussian fleet. Yeah, that's a lot of firepower. I mean, I'm much more scared of the Prussians than I was of the Dutch. The Dutch... The Dutch at least had weak fronts that we could exploit, whereas the Prussians are a bit trickier. Oh, Prussian, that's a whole Prussian fleet! They could do some real... I mean, I'm not so bothered about them, they're just raiding individual trade ports. Okay, yeah, they're bringing, they're bringing in some more firepower. Wait, do they sail out of this port? They must, they can't, but we've got them blockaded. There's no navy in there now. Stupid game. They could well go, well, if they go to a trade zone and wipe us out, I've got plenty of fleets in the back pocket ready to uh, take their place. 
I hope this is you guys at the bridge. If it is, that could work really well. The artillery would be... It's, it's not a cakewalk, but I think we've got to do it, because that could that's quite a significant chunk of Prussian troops we could potentially kill. Let's do it. It has to be the bridge. It has to be the bridge guy. It can't be the guy behind the bridge, surely. And the main thing is, hope they don't come in on our side of the river. <laughs> the reinforcements, that is. But they really shouldn't. You would hope. Right, let's get cracking. get cracking because our artillery is going to have to do going to be sat there doing counter battery we're not going to really be able to use them at the breach they're going to have to sit there and engage the enemy guns this could be a bit of a meat grinder yeah bridge battle or river battle there's the Ford. Is it done it again? No. So... So two infantry plus a melee unit are going to cover one bridge. These guys are going to cover the main crossing. With, most, with a bunch of melee troops in reserve. Okay, something like that. Then we need the melee infantry to boost the gaps. It had to be Hindu musketeers that protect this pocket, this side here, because they can form square. So the massed artillery done some good damage. Go for the howitzers first and foremost. Firing round shot at least, but they're going to slam right into our pikemen. Spread them out. Yeah, so we're going to need our, our guns to work over time. Yeah, it's a lot of enemy dead cavalry, but should really be focusing on the guns. That's normally what the AI does. To be fair, that's normally what they do. Now oh, it's a six pound a horse, six pound a horse, so... They're aiming. I've already, argh, I told them to aim at these guys, but they decided to aim at the this cavalry and break them. To be fair, but comes the enemy gendarmerie. If they they particularly seem keen on going after my pikes, so I want to keep them alive as long as possible. The AI is keen to attack them. I want them to shoot at them and not anything else. Here we go. Killed the training teams. But that's not huge because they're not going to move them anyway. Okay, aim at the six pounders because they're about to they're about to mount up. when they mount up we can do we can destroy whole teams I mean I might have to get my I mean you're up going after my kids or Bashy now, that's not terrible. These are all dragoons. 
It's nice of them to slow down to give us a free volley. There we go, the enemy artillery has been entirely destroyed on the move. Any reinforcements coming in over here, so those guys might be at risk in future. So let's give them a Camel Nomad unit. Well, let's start by deploying into squares. Get my pikemen up here. Oh, they've just dismounted. The dragoons are dismounting. I don't think it's. confusing. Because it particularly does not. Okay, right. Cavalry's charging in anyway. Commit the pikes, commit the dervishes into the counterattack. The general is attempting to cross. Send the Islamic swordsmen in. There you go, the pikemen's just going to blitz through all this cavalry, no worries. Kill the enemy general. Because they've been they were stuck and they've all been clumped up their charge bonuses aren't really counting for anything and now they're being shot at from the flank how's the artillery going Ooh. engage the howitzers because they're on the move Okay, let's pull my melee infantry back behind the squares. Allow us to pursue after us, please. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Lots of guards are coming in. I think we destroyed, yeah, we did destroy that enemy gun team. I can push my infantry back forwards again. Yeah, land van militia. I want my cavalry to, I want their cavalry to be defeated before the infantry crosses in, in mass. I want us to be doing fire by rank drills. But that might be a, a bridge too far. Lancer guards are crossing. Same thing again. The orchard has ceased fire. Go get him, Islamic swordsman. Pull back. Same as last time. As we put, when we attack, we get drawn into actual melee combat. It's like no, we don't really want that. If they've got cavalry running around, we want to use our melee troops to help support the squares. But in general, we don't want to push out. But look at all those dead cavalrymen. I suppose now we have to kind of re-engage because the pikes are crossing. Ah, you go stop shooting. You then go across and attack the Vizars.
Yumen are both attacking the Swiss Pikes. Okay, Yumen, look, you can fire at will. Hopefully, you aim. I want you to aim. Oh, you haven't even reloaded yet. My Hindu Musketeers are going to have to fall in onto the Pikemen as well. Islamic Swordsmen charge in. Oh, 75th have broken. Attack the militia. More artillery. We've destroyed enemy artillery, actually. Oh no, it's wavering. It's not gone yet. It's still attempting. My swordsman. No, why are you not? If I make you guys withdraw. Because I think they're on the because they're on the bridge, I was getting movement orders are a bit funky. There we go. No, don't withdraw, just get out of the way. Deploy the Sipahi. comes the oh shrapnel shot no 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 actually stay in square you've got no choice artillery battery limber up which i may get my camels over there can you between you you're doing you're doing good the shrapnels that's going to be real really killer but I think we're going to do a lot more damage to their cavalry before the shrapnel can kill us. Where's my Kizilbashi? Let's get tears. Bring them over here as well. Well, that's three units of cavalry we can chop up and kill. Pikemen get out. Musketeers form a line. Musketeers form a line. Swordsmen get out. Got to keep shooting the Lancer guards. Let my skirmish cavalry keep skirmishing. Yeah, we're getting into a bit of a bit of a log jam here. Where's my cavalry? Where's my General, uh, yeah, I already moved him over. Chop up the hussars. Okay, my heavy cavalry can also come over here. Guns have redeployed. Lim unlimber, not limber up, unlimber. Everyone reload and engage that last unit of mercenaries. small arms fire for one unit to withstand. Curaciera coming across, that's a bit of a potential hazard. Pull the camels back. Bring up the Islamic swordsmen. The yeah, Curaciera are a bit dangerous. But we've got a good number of melee troops. I'm going to use these guys to counter the cuirassier charge, and then they'll withdraw. There you go. Keep engaging the cuirassier. Let's 
form square. Melee troops charge. Excellent. So that's the cavalry charge dealt with. Form a more conventional musket line to the rear. The artillery I want to engage in the distance. Although I would want one of you keep shrapneling at the point at which they just dis discord from the bridge. Okay, let's take these two units, get them over onto this side of the bridge. Pikemen can withdraw. These two units of musketeers plus swordsmen can hold the bridge. This unit of swordsmen is pretty fresh. Quite, is that shrapnel shot's quite dangerous. Can you not engage? Can you not engage the enemy artillery? Okay, now they are. I'm not expecting you to take him out in one volley. I'm expecting you to do something. Push my camels forward it looks like actually they intend to uh, cross to the ford come on get over here I mean in, if that's the case then you guys can just slowly walk back Look, they want to go for my guns. So that's exactly why I'm like, no, intercept them, please. See, now I've redeployed troops. Suddenly. Oh no, they still do. general coming in which I don't want yeah I don't mind some of these guns then attacking enemy other other enemy units but camels more more uh, elephants I don't want I mean I'll take artillery because of Ashes yeah it's not bad You're going to have to stick it out while the enemy... <laughs> while the enemy present themselves. Fire at will. Slaughtering down this German manhood. Yeah, some of them are going to make it around, but I think it's a bit of a foolish decision. Yeah, the militia are going down. That means we can focus our firepower onto other units. Take out the Jaeger. Swordsman, get ready to hold the bridge against the Marines. 
focus on the infantry, they get shattered. Routing, engage the engineers. Beautiful. Okay, you men get back to holding the bridge. Okay, let's get one more unit of Hindu Musketeers over here pretty rapidly. And limber these guns. Probably get my Kizzle Bashi over here as well. We got Marines, Light Dragoons. Their artillery has one gun left, but they don't want to actually pick it up. So these gunners can attack the Light Dragoons, you men keep attacking the 54th. These guys are limbering up to deploy a bit more head-on to provide, to provide a bigger way, field of fire against units seeking to cross the board. Freikor line infantry are engaging us, but they should now have to cross the bridge. That's right. Come this way. Step past the carcasses and the bodies, and you've entered my killing field now. No one's unloading onto these last 15 Swiss line. chaps have attempted to circumvent the issue. These European mercenaries. Excellent. So this is the Light Dragoons coming in. Oh, the head of the column has just received a few bullets. Pistol ready. He's fired his pistol. Okay, so these two units, I want them chiefly to focus on engaging the Dragoons. Okay, withdraw. Just to force them to cross the river a little bit more. Now they're, in, now they're in range of people, they can advance with their carbines. There we go, they've crossed the bridge in not enough force, and now they're paying the price with not any, you know, no actual decent firing drills. They're engaging us across the river. Back up. Someone killed, shot at us, a shrapnel shot. That's very mean. Okay, withdraw the Kizobashi. Let's speed up time a little bit. The gun is pushed up and just they're blasting shrapnel shot out of their faces. Probably what's happening. I mean, if they want to be silly with me, they're the ones that have elected. Oh, the, the dragoons, the first lot of dragoons, uh, caused problems. So these. Oh, uh, one of the. Okay, right, 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 right. Just attack ground here, and when they fire long, they'll. Hit the cluster of units. Okay, 
Yeah, they're within your field of fire. Just. Oh, good aim. Exceptional shot, sir. Who are these? These are the Marines in the 54th Regiment. Push the cavalry up. They'll be back. Okay, let's go back to speeding up time, because it feels like these guys are kind of bugged in that my guys can't shoot them if I give them an order. I'll, I can keep that attack ground thing going and count on you know, misses. Are they under the bridge? Oh, they've dismounted under the... Right, okay. Not ideal. Other gun, just keep engaging the engineers. Prussians are exhausted because they've been running around all over the place. To the point where you can probably... Just do this. I mean, my Kizilbashi will take a bit of a hammering, but... I mean... Yeah, their their uh, engineers will take an even worse one. I'm going to end it just in case, if I continue it, this causes problems. I would like to carry on, because I dismounted it in the river. I mean, I could have used the timer to keep going. But still, <laughs> we did deploy 18,000 men against their 5,000. But still, it's not a bad exchange. The intention, I think, is to create... Create in my sorry in front which means that whenever they try and push through it, they may destroy one of our armies. But if the, the faster they destroy our forces, the sooner we end up... Um, the sooner we end up uh, creating... Well, our, our reinforcing armies join the field together rather than in separate clusters. Okay, so that withdrawal of the Egypt region may have been a bit premature, but the Russians are bringing their troops to bear now. Because Russia's at war with Prussia, that's the important, that's something that's important to bear in mind. So let's see. Can Russia do anything with it? That's the thing. Because right now we're all, it's all against, we're all against the Prussians at the minute. And eventually the Russians will start to be uh, a bit of a problem. But I'm hoping mastery of the seas means I can keep them just contained. Eventually their American holdings overseas will cause problems. They'll want to expand south and get access to... Or get better access for their goods to market. New Spain will reinvigorate their efforts against us. Greece is going to Greece. Greece may not exist for super, super long. It depends on what their alliances are like. They're probably a protector of Dagestan, so I might not be killing them, but uh, I'll be ready. Puerto Cabello. Yeah. Second rate and a first rate. It's not bad. And a heavy first rate. It's not a bad fleet. Although my, they outgun my squadrons, really. Okay, let's add more. Yeah, so, so the presence of this guy has added some concern. Anyway, sugar warehouse, steam powered sugar mills. Okay. Commercial basin in Calais. Steam addresser, a small cotton plantation. That's the only other building that we have left free to upgrade for now. 
Nice, so, okay. See, you men replenish. The army up front that took the brunt of the damage. Keep replenishing. Although I should probably cycle you out and cycle a fresh unit in. Especially one that's relatively unbloodied. You guys have got some quite veteran troops now. You're taking time to replenish. You are not replenishing. You are ready. As are you. So let's move you up. We call in the re this this army in as reinforcements, which we're going to do, but that will be that may well eventually it will cause the destruction of the Dutch because we still have to fight at Amsterdam, but that will be pretty much the st that's all of the Dutch forces in northern Italy committed to the defense of Turin. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So. Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the last battle against the- one of the last battles against the Dutch. Cheers everyone. Mm -hmm.